Hey guys, DK Spencer here. Orange Crush. Target at 30 feet away. 9.9 gram hybrid Canada Rhino. Catch the bull, though. Catch the bull, though. <laughs> Catch the bulls. <laughs> Touch the bulls up. Bullseye. 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 I'm really not, I'm not sure. The one on the far side, it bounced back out through, but I'm not sure where it went. I think that's what happened anyway. Bullseye. <laughs> I think. I mean, you know, I don't know at this point. All right. <laughs> I, I, I believe you can hit something with it. So, I watch this over and over, and you actually see the ball go past where this is. You can see these, but they're not near as big as what this is when it comes back down. But anyway, you can see the ball go past these numbers, and you can see the ball right in front of the bullseye when you can still just see one of the little, you know, like a little dot from the number, right? And then it falls back and then when it comes back down you've got the big hole over here but you actually see the ball in front of the bullseye in the frame before this exists so and i don't know what like what's weird you see you know the ball that's coming and going here but then after this is here then there's another piece comes flying out so i don't know if maybe well, actually, I think I just figured it out. Because, <laughs> like, if there was a ball on my trap and it broke it into two different pieces, one of them, like, or even the original ball bouncing back out this way or whatever, then one of the other pieces coming at a different angle. So I guess that would explain why. Because that's what was throwing me. Because it's like, okay, well, I see the piece come after the hole's there, but then I see the, bull, the, the ball over the bullseye before the hole's there. So anyway, whatever. I, I think it's good. <laughs> I'm good with it. I'm happy. Hopefully you are. <laughs>